Hey guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make an altered rim chip and dip bowl that I threw on the wheel with uh, a wide base. It's a pretty big size bowl. I'd say maybe five or six pounds of clay. So um, right now I am just making a line from the bottom towards the top in a spiral motion. I'm making the line lightly with a tool before I use my X-Acto knife to actually cut it. So that's what I'm doing now from the bottom all the way to the top making the line and now I'm going to cut it with the X-Acto knife. Okay, so the clay is a little bit a little bit hard, harder than I had wanted it to be. So my hands are shaking a little bit with the X-Acto knife, but I'm going slow and I'm just following that line slowly. And you can see the spiral pattern sort of from the base of the pot in a slightly graduated, elevated line towards the top. And it's almost like a triangle, like a at the top like it'll taper out that way and I like that because it gives it gives a little flare to the piece so that's what you see me doing here I'm just cutting and there we go now I'm gently pulling the rim into the piece very gently and slowly just kind of easing it in to the piece and getting it a little bit set towards where I want it Now I'm just playing with where I want the bowl part of the chip and dip to be. Um, so I'm just kind of like maneuvering the clay, um, you know, pushing it in a downward motion as well because I'm going to be attaching it to the bottom. So I'm just working on that in this clip. I just marked my line for where I'm going to score the base. I kind of just made a little tracing. So I'm going to slip, or rather score, and then slip uh, both sides, the base and the rim. And I'm going to attach them. And then I'm going to kind of push it down and give it a little force to attach it. Aw, I got a little smooch from my husband. All right, back at it. <laughs> so in this um, clip, I'm just pushing kind of down and pushing in. So I'm I'm merging the two, like I'm with quite some force because this clay is a little hard. But I'm just kind of using my fingers to merge the two pieces together. So I've pre-rolled the coil and I'm going to attach it to the base and to the rim, just joining the two and getting a really good attachment, a good seal. Um, so I'm just pushing that coil in with my thumb, working it around. And uh, it was a little bit hard, like I said, so I spent some extra time just really smoothing and getting a good smooth attachment you know, a seamless look. So it took some time to actually smooth that out. All right, so now that we have that all smoothed out, that coil, I'm gonna go in and seal that joint with a paintbrush and water. It has a little bit of slip on it, but right now I'm just using water and a modeling tool to just smooth everything out and make sure it's attached. Then I am going to add a little extra layer of thick slip around that exterior wall there, just in case. So that's what I'm gonna do here and get it all smoothed and sealed up. A 
Okay, now it's time to work on the rim. So I'm putting a good amount of water back on the rim. And I'm taking my X-Acto knife to try to get that pointy, like, triangle to trying to get a better flow there. So I've got the knife and I'm just kind of doing that and really smoothing that rim out because I cut it and um, it wasn't the best cut. <laughs> so I really had to go in and uh, smooth it out. And I did spend a lot of time doing that. Um, so there I go again. And I actually took off a little bit more than I should have in certain places. But the cool thing about clay is you can add it back in like I did right there. So I just added a little bit more soft, mushy clay back into like a little divot where I had taken too much out. So that's pretty much it. This is the finished raw piece. I'm going to fire it very soon this week and then glaze it. And then I'll show you guys the, um, the actually finished glazed results. I can't wait. These are so cool too um, with glaze, like drippy glaze combos. They just look amazing on this shape and this form. I've made them before, so I really can't wait to show you um, with a really cool glaze combo. But anyway, thank you for watching, and um, I hope you found this video helpful. Talk to you soon. Bye.